Hello everyone and welcome to Roadmap. So today's topic is chemical reactions and equations part 1 and if you like the video don't forget to click on thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe for more video updates and you can also give your suggestions in the comment section below. Topics to be covered are introduction, chemical equations, writing a chemical equation, balanced chemical equation, types of chemical reactions, corrosion, Rancidity. So coming to the introduction. Now consider some of the situations of daily like life and think what happens when. When the milk is left at room temperature during summers, an iron tawa pan nail is left exposed to humid atmosphere, grapes get fermented, food is cooked, food gets digested in our body, and we respire. So in above all these situations, the nature and identity of the initial distance have somewhat changed. Now change plays a major role over here and change is of two types, physical change and chemical change. Now when a chemical change takes place, we say that a chemical reaction has taken place, right? And uh, you must be perhaps wondering what is actually meant by a chemical reaction and how does this takes place? Now, let's perform some of the activities to understand this. Now, in this activity, you need a teacher's assistance and you should wear eye protection. Now, take a clean magnesium ribbon of about 2 cm long by rubbing it with sandpaper. Hold it with a pair of tongs and burn it using a spirit lamp or a burner and collect the, collect the ash formed in the watch glass. Now burn the magnesium ribbon keeping it as far as possible from your eyes. Now what will happen in this reaction? What you will be observing in this reaction? Now what you will observe is magnesium ribbon burns with dazzling white effect. So from the uh, figure you can see the dazzling white flame and it changes. So a change takes place, right? A chemical reaction where a chemical change takes place and it forms a white powder. Now this powder is nothing but magnesium oxide and it is formed due to the reaction between the magnesium and oxygen which is present in the air. So why this what, what this shows that there is a presence of magnesium and oxygen and because of which it forms magnesium oxide. Now coming to the other activity, take lead nitrate solution in a test tube, add potassium iodide solution to this. What you will observe? Just think of it. One more activity. Take a zinc granule in a conical flask or test tube, add dilute HCl hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid H2SO4 and handle the acid with care. Do you observe anything happening around the zinc granules? Touch the conical flask or test tube. Now is there any change in the temperature? Now from this three activities we can see that it helps us to determine a chemical reaction has taken place where there is a change in state, change in color, evolution of a gas and change in temperature. So what four things it takes place that there is a change in state, change in color, change in temperature and evolution of a gas. And as we observe changes around us, we can see that there is a large variety of chemical reactions which takes place around us in our daily lives. Now, we'll study about various chemical reactions and their symbolic representations in this chapter. Now, coming to the chemical equations. When a magnesium ribbon is burned with oxygen, it forms magnesium oxide. It gets converted to magnesium oxide, right? We have seen from our previous activities. Now this description of chemical reaction in a sentence form is quite long. 
so there is a need to write it in a short form so there the simplest way to write it in the short form is to write in the form of word equation so how we write it in the word equation form we write it as magnesium plus oxide gives magnesium oxide so this is the way where, where we can in which way we can write this so this is the way we can write this so uh, here the substance substances that undergo chemical change in the reaction magnesium and oxygen are the reactants and the magnesium oxide the new substance which is formed during the reaction is the product now a word equation shows change of reactants to products through arrow placed between them so you can see the arrow which is placed between them and the reactants are written on the left hand side with a plus sign between them and the products on the right hand side with a plus sign between them so the arrow ahead points towards the products and shows the direction of the reaction now coming to the writing of chemical reaction now there must be some way to write a chemical reaction right so there any other sort of way for representation chemical reaction now there must be a question arising to you yes there is chemical equations can be made more concise and useful if we use chemical formula instead of words a chemical equation represents a chemical reaction and if you recall formula of magnesium oxygen and magnesium oxide the above word equation can be written as magnesium plus oxygen gives out magnesium oxide so count and compare the number of atoms of each element on the left hand side and right hand side is the number of atoms of each element same on both the sides if not then there is a need to balance the equation which is unbalanced because the mass is not the same on both sides of the equation now such a chemical situation is a skeletal chemical mechanism for the reaction and it is uh, the skeletal chemical reaction for the burning of magnesium in air it shows from the uh magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide so in the writing way it shows the burning of magnesium in air so this is the way in which uh, the form in which we can write a chemical reaction now by ba balanced chemical equation now the law of conservation of mass that you studied in your previous class 9 mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction the total mass of the elements present in the products of the chemical situation is to be equal to the total mass of the elements present in the reactants in other words the number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reaction and we need to balance a skeletal chemical equation so a chem uh, is the chemical equation balanced yes and let's learn step by step that how this takes place now when we uh, compare with zinc plus sulfuric acid it gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen so in this equation it is represented as zinc plus like zn plus h2so4 gives out znso4 plus h2 so when we examine the number of atoms of different elements on both the sides of the arrow it gives that zinc the number of reactants is 1 the number of products formed is 1 Uh, hydrogen number of reactants form 2 and product is 2 sulfate zinc is 1 sulfate uh, reactant and one number in the product and oxygen four number of atoms are formed in reactants and four number of atoms is formed in products now from this we can make out that the chemical equation here is balanced right now there must be a question which is arising to you that how there is a balancing of chemical equations takes place right so we take an example as this is the chemical equation fe plus h2 which gives out fe3o4 plus h2 right so now here from the figure what you can see is the number of atoms in left hand side of fe is 1 and fe is 3 in the reactant that is right hand side right so what you have to do is like the number of fe is 3 right 
तो यू हैव टू एड दी कोफिशियंट नंबर यू हैव टू एड द नंबर टू दी लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो दैट इफ यू एड थ्री एटर्म्स टू दी एफ ई इट विल बैलेंस द इक्वेशन टू लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑल्सो एंड राइट हैंड साइड ऑल्सो सो वट विल डू इज वील एड नंबर थ्री टू दी एफ ई देन इट विल बैलेंस द इक्वेशन नाउ कमिंग टू दी ऑक्सीजन नंबर हियर आर हियर इज ओनली वन ऑक्सीजन राइट एंड यू हैव टू एड the oxygen number to balance it okay so if we'll add a uh, four oxygen number then again what will happen that it won't be possible for us to balance the equation over there because the oxygen number in the right hand side is four right and uh, you have to make it to four to the left hand side so what we'll do we'll also add four ox number to the oxygen so it will balance the four and then now when 4 is added automatically 4 into 2 hydrogen becomes 8 right so what we have to do when hydrogen is becoming we have to balance it with 8 so what we'll do first in the left hand side we'll add 4 coefficient number so it will balance our equation and finally to the right hand side in the hydrogen number we'll add 4 so it will become 4 into 2 that is 8 of hydrogen 8 of hydrogen in the left hand side and right hand side four of high uh, oxygen right so four oxygen it will become over here four oxygen will be balanced as we are adding the coefficient and fe will be 3 okay so this equation will become re fe plus 4 h2o which gives out fe3 o4 plus 4 h2 okay so i hope that you understand the concept that how exactly the balancing of equation takes place okay so now writing the symbols of physical states now carefully examine the above balanced equation thus this equation tells us anything about the physical state of each reactant and product no right we are not able to see the physical reaction we, we can only observe the chemical change that is taking place over here but there is also a need to see the physical re, uh, re, in reaction which is taking place so to make a chemical equation more informative the physical states of reactants and products are mentioned along with their chemical formula the that is the gas liquid aqueous or solid states so they are represented by the uh, letters g for gas l for liquid aq for aqueous and s for solid so now we will see a example where it is showing the physical state also now this is the example which completes the balancing of the reaction and also it shows the chemical reaction and also the physical reaction so what is it showing over here that is co carbon monoxide which is in the gaseous state plus 2h2 which is in the gaseous state gives out ch3oh i l so l is the liquid state so gaseous gaseous forms is giving us in the, finally the liquid product so we can see how the ba uh, balancing of the equation also takes place then the physical state and also the chemical react uh, chemical equation which is also balanced okay so i hope that you understood the topic that like how the balancing takes place then how we should write it then how they are written in the uh, symbols and also the physical states which are taking place and the change which are the physical change and chemical change they are very important to us in our everyday life so stay tuned for more lessons to come i hope you that you enjoyed the video and uh, if you have any of the doubts feel free to ask in the comment section below and thank you for watching